Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've all had a great week. So on today's video, I have done this clawed up face special effects makeup tutorial for Halloween. So I did this six years ago. I can't believe it that it was six years ago. And it's one of my biggest videos here on my YouTube channel. So because that was so popular and because I love a bit of gore and horror, um, I thought I'd recreate that makeup look and do it, try and do it even better and add in a few more like details and um, tell you guys a little bit more tips and tricks to make it a little bit more realistic and obviously I look much different than I did in that video um, So yeah, I wanted to recreate that look This is perfect for those of you guys that aren't like super artsy or you don't have much patience Unlike my other YouTube tutorials, they're quite like time consuming and some can take up to like four hours So this is really quick and it's really effective You can scare your friends and your family and people out in the public with this look and I think this will go with any Halloween costume that you do like it literally can go with any costume if you want to see more of these videos then please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel it would mean so much to me I upload every Monday at 3 a.m. New Zealand time and YouTube shorts every other day you can like open up these flaps oh my gosh you probably freak people out like this you probably have to give people a warning but you can see it's like quite 3d like Look at all this stuff. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I better show you how to do this makeup tutorial. I do have a Botox appointment after this, so I need to get this all off my face now. And that's going to be sore, and that's going to be a mission. <laughs> so yeah, let's get into it. So here is me with no SFX makeup on my face, but I do have normal makeup. So what you want to do is just put on your normal face and makeup. Do your makeup however you want to wear it for Halloween or your dress up party or whatever you're using this for. I like my standard makeup look. I do have darker nude lips on than I usually would. I'm kind of liking it. Um, and I didn't put as much blush on, no highlighter, and I just did like this kind of cat eye look. I don't know. I think it goes with the whole like scratch. But yeah, I just did something really basic because I didn't want to take away from the big scratch that we're doing. So start off with doing your normal makeup. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. And if you're a guy, you don't have to put on makeup, obviously. Um, and you can just start with the scratch. So if you want to learn how to get this look, then just keep on watching. So this is going to get really messy. So make sure you put something down on your floor. I've got a big piece of cardboard right now. Just so it doesn't get all over my carpet. Because I made that mistake at my old house. And there is liquid latex all over the carpet. So the liquid latex I have is from Body FX. So this is the FX. Oh! Dropping stuff already. This is from www.bodyfx.co.nz. I collaborated with them on a look using a new contact lenses, which is so awesome. So you need to go and check out this website. This website is where I get all my contacts from, my liquid latex, my scab blood. Um, you can buy like prosthetics. You can buy everything off there that's Halloween related. So go and check it out. <laughs> Freaking, I forget how bad liquid latex smells. Look at my eyes, they're watering. I'm glad I tied my hair back like this because by the way, liquid latex, it does get stuck in your hair. So I'm gonna try and avoid my hair. You wanna try and avoid your eyebrows and your hair and your lashes because it probably will rip it out. You can use a sponge for this, but personally, I just like using my finger. We're gonna go really basic. This is gonna be really easy. And what I do is I just literally grab the latex like this and I, Put it on. Ooh. This dries really quick too, so oh maybe I should have prepared my toilet tissue first. And grab some tissue paper and then you just want to like rip it in like a long strip. Okay, so take some toilet tissue and rip it into a shred like this. And then what you want to do is stick this on top of the liquid latex. So in my old video, I did like two layers of liquid latex, but I found out that that's not necessary. It should look like this, so simple. And then what you want to do is just grab some liquid latex and layer, without getting it in your hair. Just, oh, oh my gosh, it's already going on my pants. Tap some without ripping the toilet tissue. Put latex on top of this. And you want to make sure the edges are covered as well. Like you want to really smooth that. Um, oh my god! <laughs> don't get your eyebrow. It's just past my eyebrow. <laughs> Luckily, I don't have long tails. Make sure you smooth the latex onto your skin like this, so it um, 
doesn't look fake so that's something that I didn't use to do so we're gonna do three I don't know I think three looks most effective like, I could do four we'll see how long it takes because I guess a claw if, if a bear was to scratch it would scratch like with its four claws not just three you know I don't know prepare your tissue and tear it up um, so just get a nice piece like that big oh and by the way if you are sensitive to liquid latex you don't want to just put this on your face straight away you always want to do a patch test some people are allergic to liquid latex so just keep that in mind don't just go on and put it on your skin and by the way this is really sensitive around your eyes and just go like that and rip the top off because we're not going to go on the hairline and you'll look at this and be like oh my gosh that's such a hard makeup look but it's actually not that hard and then I'm going to slowly put a layer a thick layer of liquid latex on top people don't do this with their finger like some people use like an old sponge or something but like I said it's going to be a real beginner's tutorial um, and less tools, the better, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> Just try not to let it drip down your finger into your eyebrows because you don't want this all in your eyebrows. This one is going to be the longest scratch. And then just like shape it down and lay it down. <laughs> just do the same step and cover that with your finger with liquid latex. Um, and you can close your eye like this if you find that it stings a bit. I find that helps. I don't want to like rub too hard otherwise the tissue will break underneath. Oh my eyes are really stingy to this today. Oh, It's not going in my eye it's just the fact that it's around my eye and this stuff's like potent, man. And you want to make sure you do the latex like a little bit thicker of a layer towards the edges. We're going to do one more scratch just to differentiate. I know it's going to take a bit longer, but... Holy shit, okay, my eyes cannot handle <laughs> Get a foundation that's slightly darker than your skin tone. And it has to be darker because it's white liquid latex underneath. So we're just gonna... Oh, I think I grabbed it a little bit much. <laughs> so it like makes it a little lighter. So maybe I should have got a foundation slightly darker. Okay, this one's pretty much dry here. So it only takes like a five minutes altogether. Um, so then cover that one as well. Make sure you put your foundation on like around it, like blend them all together like this so it looks disguised with your face. Next step is you want to set it. This isn't like fully necessary but it makes it so much easier to like blend bruising colours on top. So take a powder, I'm just taking the Rimmel Kind and Free Healthy Look Press Powder in the shade Light. Um, this one's really good and it's vegan and cruelty free. So I'm just taking a brush and I'm just setting this. Now it's like a little bit harder to talk because of that, that latex just there. And just because I feel like this side's a little bit wider than this side with the bronzer, I'm going to go in and take my bronzer. I'm using Hula Benefit. This is unnecessary, but like I said, I'm wanting it to be so much better than, um, than how I did it six years ago. I really want to make an effort. So... Just put your bronzer on top like how you normally would have. See, it just adds some dimension to your face a little bit more. Okay, so now take some nail scissors. This looks really scary, but honestly, it's so easy. Like the scissors will just slide underneath. So you have to cut slits into this. Make a little incision. And it seems like you're gonna poke yourself, but honestly you don't. Like it just doesn't, like it slides slides past your skin so 
So that part's all done. So I know it looks crazy at the moment, but what you want to do is take a black eyeshadow and a brush or some black face paint, but I personally like working with eyeshadow. Um, so you want to take it on your brush. Um, I'm taking the NYX Primal Colors Eyeshadow in Hot Black. And then you just want to open up those little cuts and then draw the black like in the inside like this. So just open up with your finger and slide in the eyeshadow underneath. Um, and this is just going to give like depth to the cuts and you can already see that it makes it stand out and, and shows that there is like a cut in your skin. Okay, so now I'm going to do a little bit of the bruising before I add in the scab lid. So I'm taking the BH Cosmetics Take Me To Brazil palette. This one is the super old one, how it used to be. I love this palette because it was full of colors and everything that I needed. I really need to buy this palette again and buy some more colorful eyeshadow palettes because I barely have any. Um, and I'm gonna take some of these purples and these blues, like maybe this one, this one. Just grab a brush and just don't want to do it too intense, but you want to put the bruise in like around the scratch because it just looks like that it's been there a while and you've just been clawed, I don't know. And you want the bruising to like kind of cover the, the sides like here. And then I'm going to grab some red. So I'm taking the NYX Primal Colors eyeshadow in hot red because that other eyeshadow palette, it was like run out. So adding some red throughout, just putting like a little bit on the side. Don't want to like make it too intense. Now for the star of the show is the scare blood. So I'm a bit worried because I didn't get scare blood this time. I got Ben Nye Thick Blood because this was um, a little bit more affordable than the scare blood. And I think the scare blood wasn't available in like this size. I know this looks tiny, but this will go a long way. Like this will literally last you like two years with Halloween. And scare blood looks like this. It's like a thick paste. Now this is the star of the show and this will make your makeup look look realistic. And I'm so glad because this thick blood is technically like scab blood, so yay. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with this little scratch and I'm gonna open it up and then I'm literally gonna like pile it in. So it will thicken up a little bit. So what you wanna do now is take the scab blood and like put it on the sides of that flap like this I'm just doing stuff like this to make it look ooh, <laughs> more realistic so we're opening the scratch okay so what you want to do now is grab the scab lid and just like you can use it to disguise certain areas of your look, like if there's, um, you know, liquid latex that's kind of like sticking up or not flat down, you just want to like put that next to it. So I'm covering this up here. A tip is if you want a flap to stay open, grab a massive hunk of blood and put it underneath the flap. So I want to make this one stay open a little bit more. Grab a big hunk like that and it'll stay open. Okay, so here's the finished claw. Now I'm gonna make it look even better because my eye wouldn't just be like normal like this if it scratched through. So I might put in my red contact lens. White might give it like werewolf vibes, but red might make it look more like it's been mauled. I don't know. Okay, so I just added in that red contact lens. I'll leave the name of it. Um, down below in the description. It is from Solidica. I think that's how you say it. I do really like the way this one looks. It just adds to the effect of like my eye looks blood shocks. It's just been like scratched through or something. It, it really makes this eye look really blue as well. This would look really cool if you had like a red riding hood cape or you could add like a white contact lens and like turn it into like a werewolf look. But 
I think this looks cool. It looks like I've gone in the woods and I just got like scratched up by a bear or something or a wolf. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I think it looks really cool, especially with that contact lens and um, wearing this with like an outfit. That's gonna look really cool. Anyway, let the Halloween festivities begin. We're only like two weeks away from October. I can't believe it already. Like I've only done, this is my third Halloween makeup tutorial. Like I need to get going on makeup tutorials. But anyway, if you are going to like a Halloween party or something, then have fun and stay safe. I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you in my next week's video. Bye.